This time we're going to be extracting data from multiple worksheets within a workbook. So for this example, you could see here, we have a couple of worksheets over here at the bottom. We have Africa, we have Americas, Europe, Asia, and then a sheet two as well. So if we look here, we have the region, right? And then we have the sales data, the salesperson, the order date, the sales financial year, right? And then the same format applies to the Americas like worksheet. If you go here in the Europe, right, same thing. And we have the Asia as well. And then we have the extra sheet too, okay? So our goal here is to get the data from this multiple worksheets over here and then output it into a single table or a single worksheet. Okay, so we're gonna do this in Power Query again. Let's go for a new, right, workbook. Let's go to data, new query from file, and we're gonna be getting this from the workbook. This is the workbook that contains the data that we saw a while ago. So let's just go import. Okay, so it's gonna, yeah, there you go. So here's a preview. So we could just look at the worksheets one by one, right? This is the data that we need. So let's just select the topmost one so that it will load all of the worksheets into our query editor. Just click edit and we're gonna be going here. And first things first, we definitely don't need the sheet two. So let's just go to name. Let's unselect sheet two to filter it out, right? And then let's expand the data from here. Just click here. And that's the columns, right? Go okay, make sure everything's selected. And this is gonna be the familiar stuff for you because it's gonna be the actual contents of the worksheets, right? So the next thing that we need to do is let's just remove the unneeded columns first. Just right click here and go remove columns. Okay, this column over here is pretty empty. So let's just go right click again, remove. Okay, it's looking good. And let's have a look here. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is this one's looking good, right? It seems that this is the sales region that we have already. So we don't need this column anymore. Go remove again. And this is the header, the column header that we need, right? So let's just go to use first row as headers. Now we have our column headers, sales person, order date, sales financial year, except for this one. So let's just double click type in sales region. And there's still a couple of dirty data that we could see over here. We have the headers appearing over and over again because each worksheet has the column headers as well, okay? So let's make sure to remove that. Just pick this one. And then let's remove the order date. And there you have it. You have a single table of all of the worksheet data. And we just did it in a couple of steps. Okay, so there's no need for you to copy paste from worksheet to worksheet. So imagine if it's 100 worksheets and they're all following the same structure and it's still gonna be a cumbersome process. But with Power Query, it's just amazing on what you can do. Okay, so we're happy with this data. Let's go to Home, Close and Load. Okay, and now you have all of the data listed out here in one table right, from the four worksheets. And now you can just play with your data. If you want to go to insert pivot table, you can create a new worksheet, right? And then you can just create your reports based on your new clean data. So let's go to sales region and then let's go for the sum of sales. And from your clean data, from a single table, you can now create whatever reports that you need to do.